Hey guys, so for today's video I'm going to be doing a little bit of kind of like a chit chatty get ready. I'm going out later for a meal because my friend's going away because she's got a job abroad. So we're just kind of having a bit of a send off meal and I thought why not just film myself doing my makeup. Um, I've taken it all off and I'm basically going to put it all back on. But yeah, um, we'll get into the video. So I'm going to start off with primer. I've already moisturised my face and done all of that jazz. I'm just using the Maybelline Baby Skin. And just pop that on my pores. Basically where my pores are the biggest. So that's mainly around my nose, a bit on my forehead and a bit on my chin. Now moving on to foundation, I'm using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. Just going to pop one pump of that onto the back of my hand and use my Real Techniques Buffing Brush to blend this in. I really really like this foundation and I've not used it in a while because it's a bit darker and it's usually more my kind of spring summer foundation but I thought well my skin's getting a bit more tanned in it as you can tell because I'm still like a milk bottle but it's getting a bit darker than what it used to be so yeah I thought I'd just change it up a bit and use this one instead. Now moving on to under eye concealer I'm going to be using the collection Last Imperfection as per usual just under my eyes to hide some of this extreme darkness. I'm just going to pop a little bit onto my forehead, nose and chin just to kind of highlight and brighten those areas a bit. And I'm going to use my middle finger and I'm going to put my index finger on it so it's like that and I'm going to pat in. This will just help me control and if I'm patting I'm not dragging the skin, I'm just blending in the concealer as I go as well. And then for blemishes I'm going to be using my Maybelline Cover Stick as per usual and just dot that on places that have got a bit extra redness like here, here, just anywhere where there's, where there's any blemish or anything like that. And powder with my MAC um, Mirai's skin finish in light as per usual, just a light dusting all over just to set everything in, foundation and concealer and all of that. Now moving on to brows, I'm just going to comb through them and fill them in using my HD Brows Kit as per usual. The same thing every time just going to use this shade and this shade and just kind of mix them together and stuff and it's just what I do nearly every day if I'm not using pencil. And I'm going to set my eyebrows in with the Maybelline Brow Drawn in Dark Blonde. This is just, it's a nice gel, it keeps them in place all night or day or whatever. It just adds a bit more colour to my brows as well because it kind of... Well, it gives them a bit more colour, but also sets them in place. And it's a nice product for the price it is. Now that's all done, I'm going to be using my uh, Bourjois Chocolate Bronzing Powder in my contour brush, just to contour my cheeks, as usual. Nothing really much different here. Oh, I'm going to see 22 Jump Street tomorrow, so I'm so excited. I loved the first one, and I cannot wait to see the second one. Because Channing Tatum is just... 
Channing Tatum. Amazing. Beautiful. Probably one of my favourite actors. Okay now that's all contoured and bronzed up and everything I'm going to be moving on to blush and using my Revlon Cream Blush Enchant Enchantment. I've spoken about this in a few videos but I've never actually used it on camera so yeah this should be quite exciting. So I'm just going to dab a little bit in and put it on my ring finger and then just dot it like all my cheekbones here. Dot it in a circle and then just blend it out. This blush is really really pretty, it's quite it's a bit darker than what I'd normally wear but I like I like the colour and the consistency and the formulation to it, it blends really really easily and I don't know, I just think it looks really pretty. <laughs> now to finish off my cheeks I'm going to be using my Benefit High Beam just to highlight I only need a tiny little bit of this, which is, I guess it's kind of good because this will last quite a while. So I'm just going to draw onto my cheekbones and just blend that in. I've really enjoyed using highlighter recently. Like on a daily basis. I really really like it, I just think it gives a nice little touch and I think it looks really pretty as well. Especially for spring and summer. I'm going to pop some on my nose as well and on my cupid's bow just to highlight that bit as well. And then if I get a little bit too much I'm just going to stick it on my brow bone and a little bit in my inner corner. Okay, so that is the base done. I'm going to move on to eyes now, and I'm going to be using my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly just to add a nice clean canvas to my eyelids. Pop that all over. This will just sort of cancel out the veins and provide kind of a sticky base for all the eyeshadows and just kind of leave a blank canvas sort of thing to anything that you put on top of this. It's also nice on its own as well just to because we all get those veins on your eyelids um, so this just sort of helps cancel them out. So no surprise here I'm going to be using my MAC palette to do this eyeshadow look. I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet so this will just kind of be a bit interesting to see what I do. Um, I'm going to take Max Wedge on this little blending brush, just going to swirl that in there and just use that sort of a contour my eyelids and in the crease just to contour that a bit. So I don't know if I was filming or not, but because my camera went off, but I have just applied Max Woodwinked to the lids of my eye and I'm just running Max Espresso on my lower lash line just to sort of balance it all out. I'm going to add some of Max Brulee just on my brow bone, just to sort of highlight, well, my brow bone. <laughs> And on the inner corner I'm going to take a tiny little bit of Max Rice Paper. This will just go on the inner corner just to highlight that area. And a little, I'm going to take it a little bit like underneath my lower lash line. So 
first did have a winged clean eyeliner I thought I'd do sort of more of a smoky eyeliner so I'm going to take Max Carbon which is a matte black eyeshadow on this little tiny brush this accent brush by Real Techniques and I'm going to put that on my upper lash line and that will just kind of add a bit of liner book so I'll smoke it out a little bit Okay, so that will just add a little bit of definition and I'm going to line my waterline with the Scandalize Nude. Not forgetting to curl my lashes. And I'm going to apply my Maybelline Rocket Volume Express mascara and this is the waterproof version just I don't know I don't know why I didn't get the normal version but yeah I have not used this mascara in a while so I thought why not just pull it out and use it in this video I always forget how much I like it but I don't use it very often because I find it a lot harder to get off well obviously because it's waterproof Okay, so I think that's eyes done. I'm just going to prep my lips with this EOS lip balm. I don't really need a lip balm, but it's um, my lips are kind of dry anyway because I'm going to be using my Revlon lip butter in Strawberry Shortcake, and I thought this would just be quite a nice nudish pink uh, to go with this kind of dark eye makeup look, I guess. So that's done, it's really really pretty. This colour just kind of adds a little bit of a shine and it's just a really pretty pink. My makeup is finished, this is just the final look. Um, I hope you like it, it's um, a bit different to what I normally do. I just thought I'd kind of improvise on camera. Um, so please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video or this kind of video because I might do more in the future. Please comment down below any thoughts or any future suggestions for any future videos and please subscribe to my channel because it makes me really happy twitter instagram will be in the description box as per usual and as always thank you for watching and have a great day and i shall see you very soon goodbye